would say to you that's just playing politics that some counselors do. The, the realities are uh, the majority, the vast majority of people are absolutely ecstatic what's going on in our city, where we're headed, where we were, and all the wonderful things that have taken place and continue to take place. And that's what they're focused on. And I can also tell you, there's the people, the public in general, are very happy that we've upgraded our fire paramedic stations. We've got buildings there that are 100 years old. Now we have four brand new ones, and that's what they care about. And as you probably know, the fire and paramedics themselves, the firefighters and paramedics, they're very happy about this. So the reality is something very good and very positive has happened. Was there a glitch? Absolutely. And we want to know why. There will be people out there who are always going to criticize you. I've lived with that for eight years. It started about two days after I was elected. I got criticized for the sale of the old arena, going to someone that I knew, and the realities are the deal was done before I was even elected. So you know what? You better have thick skin if you want to be the mayor of the city of Winnipeg. And you know what? I'm fine with, the, with, with those types of criticisms. I actually enjoy constructive criticism because I can learn from it. Political criticism doesn't bother me much anymore. It's not a matter of confusion about who's responsible. It's a matter of a level of government making a commitment and fulfilling it. And it's unfortunate, but there were several commitments that were made by the provincial government. And it's interesting, but there's three of them. They all come with uh, between myself and Minister Chomiak, who was the attorney general. I'm referring to the police cadets. I'm referring to the helicopter, and I'm referring to the police board. These were all deals that were done with Minister Chomiak. People change portfolios, and we move forward based on commitments, and then the new person in charge tries changing that. Well, you can't do that. And I, those are the comments I've had and discussions I've had with, with Minister Swan. And as you know, you know, we went into battle on the cadets and on the helicopter, and they didn't, them, and they ended up coming to the table. And the reason they did is because they knew a commitment was made. In the situation with the police board, they made a commitment that the city would be uh, responsible for nominal costs, just a matter of defining nominal costs. So nominal costs would be uh, per diems, uh, you know, the, or the honorariums that go to the board members, you know, lunches, rent, an executive director. Cost after that, we'd expect to be covered by the provincial government. You'd have to check with the odds makers. I don't deal in odds. All I've said is long as things are happening, and, and right now Winnipeg is being watched by everybody in Canada and in place in the States, and people are calling us now saying, we want to invest in your city. Do you know how long it's been since something like that's happened? Like people are actually calling the mayor's office, can we come and meet with you? We have half a billion dollars to invest or a billion dollars to invest. Those things never happen. And you can see the kind of commitment that's being made with the kind of investments and projects. You know, a brand new uh, a condo being built on a Cinnaboy. We haven't seen that stuff in decades. Apartments being built on a Cinnaboy. There's a great, great attitude right now in our city. In spite of the naysayers, I might add. I don't know the numbers. Uh, it's interesting, but I've been told the mayor's not supposed to know. I'm not, I'm not privy to that information. Uh, it's, it's, it's a unique scenario. I don't really understand that, but that's what the administration has said. But the facts are, the one thing I can tell you right now is when it comes to waste minimization, which I'm proud to be the mayor when we finally got that plan through because they tried before and failed, it's working. We are recycling significantly more and significantly less tonnage is going to the Brady landfill. And I'm hardly getting any calls very few calls of complaints. As a matter of fact, I would say right now, the number of emails and phone calls I get saying, I love this new system, probably outweigh the complaints we're getting right now. So the good thing is, a lot of the problems have been resolved. That's not to say there may not still be some issues out there.